What's going on? Scott here for sort of a different video, just going to be audio today. Uh, so I don't know if you've heard about some of the stuff that's been going around lately, but it's been getting pretty ridiculous here on YouTube, apparently, because everyone is getting hit with these like big either copyright strikes and claims or they're losing monetization or their channels are just being deleted outright. And it has gotten just super scary <laughs> like if i'm being completely honest because we uh about this time last year we actually got a copyright strike of our own i don't know if you guys remember this at all but uh we had uploaded a podcast it was completely audio podcast just like this video it just had a still picture um of us reviewing the DC animated movie um, of Justice League, Throne of Atlantis, I think is what it was officially called. It's the Throne of Atlantis movie. Yeah, so we were just talking about it. We didn't use any clips from it at all. We were just literally doing nothing but talking about it. To be fair, we had kind of a negative review of it. At least I did. But that's no reason. That is absolutely no excuse to issue a copyright strike on our channel because we had a negative review and we were issued it by Warner Brothers themselves, which was just awful because we lost a ton of features. Like I, I think all we had left were um, the ability to use custom thumbnails and nothing else. Like we couldn't even uh, schedule videos to go live, I think. I think all we had were public and private we couldn't even make them unlisted or anything. It was a huge, huge hassle to jump through. We couldn't monetize any of our videos. We weren't, uh, we weren't even able to make uh, money off of them. And this was, this was a good week or two, uh, I think, that that the, our videos were just not making any money. We couldn't really do anything. It was stressful. And honestly, I was wondering how we were going to get through that six months because if we couldn't get it removed then the strike lasts for six months and I was trying to figure out how would we be able to do that I even filmed a video that never went up on the channel about you know asking people to donate to our Patreon page that we had just launched at the time um, to help us continue making videos and it was I mean I I'm so glad that I never actually had to, to go that route uh, because within you know a week or two Thankfully, it was taken away. Uh, we we fought against it. Rightfully so, though, right? I mean, we didn't do anything. I, I, I mean, I'm talking about it very, you know, generously like, oh, I'm so glad that we didn't get we didn't we didn't deserve to get a copyright strike. It was ridiculous. I'm just going to be completely open and honest about that. It was the dumbest thing. And Nowadays, you know, now this this month, I think even just even just this month alone in January, everyone, huge channels, small channels, uh, everyone's been being hit with with way more uh, of these copyright strikes and even whole channels being completely deleted that it's, you know, something has to be done about this. So a lot of people are, you know, myself included, we, we just want to make videos about this stuff to really get this information out there, to really go public because YouTube absolutely needs to change something about this because this happens, this has happened for years and normally what happens is there's a big fuss for a little bit and then it kind of, it dies down and it goes away. No, nothing ever happens because of it. So I'm trying to make sure that I at least get my own opinion out there to, to, to spread the word in any way that I can, because this is ridiculous. It is just stupid that this sort of thing is happening because a big portion of it is the people who are issuing these copyright strikes, there's no penalty for them in any capacity. So even if we fight back, right? So we fought against Warner Brothers and we, uh, you know, won that, or at least I don't think we, I don't, I don't even know if you can say we won that. I think they just took it away um, because we did kind of go public about it a little bit. Uh, we weren't as big as we are now, obviously. We had about, you know, a quarter of the subscribers as we do now. Um, but that apparently was enough to for, for some action to be take uh, to be taken. And I think a big part of the problem is that there's no sort of repercussion for these companies that are issuing these false copyright strikes. I mean, what's preventing them from just constantly hitting all of us creators with 
these copyright strikes nonstop. Nothing. There's nothing that's stopping that. And that is frustrating because, all right, when we put up our video about Throne of Atlantis and we got that copyright strike, we lost monetization on it. So for that week or two, Warner Brothers made all the money that we made from that video. And then once we actually gained monetization back, once we, you know, fought against that claim and we, you know, quote unquote won it, we didn't see that money back. Warner Brothers still got to keep that money, even though the claim was found to be false. And that's not how it should be. That doesn't make sense even. And the fact that it is impossible, not difficult, impossible to get a hold of somebody at YouTube to talk about this problem with, to help you out, is also a gigantic issue. When it comes to important things like this, you should have some ability to get a hold of someone, and that's just not the case, and it's, it, it, it's not the way that this should B. So yeah, sorry to just kind of throw this out there. Uh, it's a little bit of a very different video completely. But if you uh, if you want to help contribute to this cause, I encourage you to do so. Just make a video about it. It can, it can just be audio like this. I think that would be incredibly beneficial. And look, I know that it sounds kind of silly that I'm sitting here complaining about this unbelievably lucky job that I have, making comic book videos for you guys every week. But you have to understand the massive amount of work that goes into every single video that we do. I know a lot of you guys do know that, um, but there are some people who think that we make these videos in an afternoon, which is absolutely not the case. So much hard work and effort and sweat and tears go into every video that we do. I mean, I've had many, uh, panic attacks, not even mini panics. I've had full blown panic attacks when doing these things week to week because it's so stressful. Uh, cause I, I, I set a schedule that I try to stick to and to know that all of this hard work can just go away with no explanation that YouTube can delete my channel without any sort of real warning in place is terrifying. And yeah, I'm just trying to help spread the word about this, that it absolutely does need to change. So thankfully it's been about a year since we've ever had to deal with any sort of copyright strike, but I don't think I want to wait until it happens again, inevitably to make this video. Um, because who knows, maybe I won't have that chance cause the channel will be completely deleted. So if you like the stuff that we do, and you want to help give us a fighting chance because we do use uh, uh, some third party, a little bit of third party content, but it is fair use, then I encourage you to share. You don't even have to share this specific video. I'll put a couple links in the video, uh, in the description below that of other videos that have done a much better job explaining the situation that you can share to really get the word out there or make your own video to talk about it if you've had experience like this or just want to view your own opinions about it. So. This sort of video isn't something that I would normally do, but I just felt like I had to say something. And, you know, maybe nothing will come of this and YouTube's just going to keep using the system that they already have in place. That probably seems more than likely. But I feel like we need to make noise about this and be relentless until some progress is made. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble about this. I promise that the next video will be about comic books. Until then, I wish I had some sort of sign-off catchphrase.